Welcome back to the Lambda Gain Learning Center, Chapter 7, Optical Communication Systems. This final chapter of the Fundamental Tutorial Series brings together everything we have learned thus far. In Chapter 1, we introduced fiber optics and the role it plays in connecting the world. In Chapter 2, we dissected a fiber to see what it was made of. We also explored some of the most important light and fiber characteristics. In Chapter 3, we made the distinction between single-mode and multi-mode fibers. In Chapter 4, we took a look at the many different types of connectors. In Chapter 5, we shed some light on optical sources, both lasers and LEDs. And finally, in Chapter 6, we saw what characteristics define optical detectors and which ones are most popular. An optical communication system encompasses all these elements in transmitting optical data over long distances. The way we do this has evolved over time. Modern systems are much more complex than their predecessors. Today, we will look at basic single-channel systems as well as the more advanced multiplex systems. Single-channel systems. These systems transmit optical data over a single stream, that is, one signal over one wavelength at a time. First, an optical transmitter transforms an electrical signal into an optical one and sends it along the optical path. An optical receiver on the other end takes the signal and transforms it into an electrical one. It is imperative that the signal be boosted along the way, or else it would not be able to travel such long distances. This is where amplifiers come in. As we saw in Chapter 2, signals naturally weaken as they travel along the fiber. The form of a signal is predetermined and predictable. It can therefore be reconstructed whenever necessary. Amplifiers are placed at specific intervals along the optical path to transform a weak signal back into a strong one. Amplifiers are crucial components in long-haul and submarine systems which span incredibly long distances. Over time, a technique was developed to send multiple signals over a single fiber. It's called multiplexing. There are different types of multiplexers which all combine several signals into one transmission path. The type we will focus on today is Wavelength Division Multiplexing, or WDM. A multiplexer, or MUX, selectively combines many signals across different wavelengths and transmits them all simultaneously across a single optical path. At the receiving end of the optical system, a demultiplexer, or DMUX, takes the signal and splits it back into its original components. Multiplexers are extremely handy because they expand the network capacity without adding any more fiber to the mix. There are many different types of wavelength division multiplexers, but the two most common are coarse, or CWDM, and dense, DWDM. The two are similar, but differ in the range of the optical spectrum they cover, as well as the spacing between the channels in this range. In general, CWDM is cheaper, but uses less precise lasers. The channels are more spaced out. DWDM is more expensive, but allows for many more channels within the same fiber. Multiplexing is a topic so broad that it could be the subject of an entire chapter on its own, so we'll leave discussion of components, applications, and wavelengths for another time. Thanks for keeping up with our tutorial chapters. This concludes the Fundamentals series, which focused on the basic concepts in fiber optic communication. If you haven't already done so, check out our website for the article versions of each chapter. Stay tuned for the next series in the Lambda Gain Learning Center.